Hello everybody once again, Hawk here. So today we're going to be looking at one of the best nuke frames in the entire game. She's available right now during the Prime Resurgence event, which you need to gain Aya to get the relics. We're of course talking about Equinox Prime. So, for what we're going to be doing here, we replaced her Rust Nourish ability with Terrify. And we're using the Creeping Terrify augment, so whenever we do Terrify enemies, we will decrease their movement speed, so that's another layer of survivability, as well as giving us time to kill all the enemies that are in the area to build up our charge for our fourth. We do have a Amber Archon shard here to increase our casting speed. If we gain any of the red shards, we will probably add those in for ability duration, so it will reduce some of the drain from our fourth ability. Now, for this build, we are going to be using an AoE weapon. The one I'm going to be showing off is the Kuvatankor here. That's just my preference for AoE at the moment, but for the Equinox Prime build, we're using Brief Respite for whenever we cast abilities, we'll gain some of our shields back when we don't have our shields. The Exilus slot here doesn't really matter. I just have Synth Reflex here because we don't have any Umbral Forma to slot in. And I just feel like that would be the best thing right now. Overextended for a good bit of range, but losing some strength. Prime Continuity to gain us some more duration. Prime Flow for maximum energy because you will definitely need it. Creeping Terrify, which we've already stated, will slow down our enemies. Energy Transfer, which is another Augment mod for our Equinox Prime here, will allow us to maintain 100% of the charge between the forms for our fourth ability. Transit Fortitude, of course, more ability strength, but minus some duration. Or Vitality and Intensify for the small set bonus for more health and strength. And of course, Arcane Energize to keep our energy up and multi augmented so we could 100% armor strip the enemy whenever we get some stacks up, as well as increasing our damage of our fourth. Now, we are going to be exploiting the shield getting mechanic. Basically, we're going to be in night form for most of the time with our fourth ability active, so we gain shields on kill. And then when we feel like we're ready to nuke, switch forms, and reduce their armor and nuke. That's basically how this is going to work. You'll see. Scans show when there are harvesting Kuva nearby. Set off the alarms to draw them out. You'd either use AoE or, say, the nuker. Whatever you want to use just to kill enemies. Quick. Hold on. Crap. Yeah, turns out I'm not good at the shield gaining mechanic, unfortunately. There we go. I delivered a life support capsule to the area. Activate 
Activating it will buy you more time. Obviously, like I said, one of the problems is going to be survivability. Basically just keep switching back and forth between the forms to keep night form for survival buddy and day form for nuking. about to run out. That sucks. Unfortunately, Creeping Terrify, or Terrify in general, does not work for the Acolytes. Grip. Yeah, basically for Equinox, you kind of have to know what you're doing. Alright, so that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. P please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.